Leo, let's start with your reading. Today, we are going to look into your recent past, your present, and your immediate future. Keep in mind that in general readings, energies go both ways. Feel free to interpret the direction of the messages as it best resonate with your own personal situation. Now, let's begin with your reading. All right, okay. The energy at the bottom of the deck and the main energy for the reading is strength. And here you are, Leo, showing up in your own reading, showing up with a very strong energy, ready to do what's best for you now. Even if that means ending something that you originally didn't want to end. With this card, it feels as though there are things that you do not want to compromise anymore. You're ready to show yourself to the world without caring about what people are going to think or how they're going to respond. You just, you're just wanting to be you and wanting to do what's right for you right now. This is a very strong and beautiful message to have as the main energy for the reading. Let's see how it's impacting everything else right here on the table. Now, in your past position, we have the Ace of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Chariot. This is fast movement. What we see right here is that you might have rushed into an ending of some sort. You decided that you've had enough, and potentially you didn't even stick around to hear what the other person thought about it. You just felt ready to go, ready to leave. But most of all, I sense that you felt tired of having to deal with a certain dynamic in between the two of you. Perhaps tired of having the same argument over and over again. I get the feeling that this is one of the situations in which you might have felt trapped as though you could have not really left, you know, in case you had something that ties you up to that person, a house, children, a marriage, or just because you thought for the longest time that they were in your life for a reason. And that belief made it very hard for you to just break this up. But eventually you realize that it was all in your mind and that it was time to leave. Whether this happened after you discovered something or just after a time of piled up frustration, you were just truly ready to do this. At least your mind was from what we see right here. Now, as far as how the other person might have felt or what they might have done, I actually see it reflected in your energy, just like a mirror reflecting this person's movements. And what I see is not much, to be honest with you. There wasn't much happening there, was there? Whatever they did was perhaps very underwhelming and it felt as though they were more focused on how they appeared other than focusing on trying to save what was left. Eventually, this might have served you as even more fuel to keep going with this chariot and eight of swords energy, realizing that you did make the right choice and realizing that it was truly time to stop looking backwards, stop thinking about this connection of it all and time instead to look ahead. Now, it doesn't mean that it didn't hurt. It just means that your mind was stronger than your heart with that ace of swords right here. And you didn't want to choose what felt right. You wanted to choose what was right for the present, but also for the long-term future. And I do believe that this was a very important lesson, important lesson overall. Because usually when you want to go for something, Leo, eventually you do, you do go for it. But this time you really gathered enough strength to say enough, 
I am not going to do this to myself anymore. I'm not going to allow to happen, allow this to happen anymore. It's clear that I cannot change this person's actions and patterns, but I can change mine and I'm going to by leaving and breaking this toxic cycle, which is keeping me stuck in a very uncomfortable position. So we see that strength coming from you. And obviously death rebirth right underneath, it talks about a new beginning, which by the way, we keep seeing here. Ace of Swords, <clears throat> Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles as well right here. So there is something new that can start only if you let go of something old. Now, it's clear that physical movement doesn't always sync up with the emotional movement. And we see right here that there is some hurt. Sometimes we leave, we put some geographical distance in between us and another person, but the heart just behaves as if we uh, were still right there, right next to them. And this can definitely bring confusion to say the least. I'm not sure if this is you or the other person, but someone here with this five of cups right next to this ace of cups is still feeling the loss, the void, the void this breakup left around them. This is someone who told themselves they were fine. They were okay by doing this or by letting this happen. And now this person is wondering to themselves, did I really let this go? And if I did, why do I still feel this way? Someone is still hanging on to this Leo and they're starting to feel as though they have made a mistake letting you go. I definitely see it in these two cards. I feel like this person still wants this, even if they're not taking action at the moment, even if they're seeing other people, they just did not, did not feel like they felt when they were with you. Now, with these cards over here, there is a possibility for this energy to evolve into movement, especially considering this page of cups right here. There is a possibility for this person to reach out and come towards you. But to be honest, I don't think that at this point, this will have any major impact on you, Leo. You might feel good in the moment. It might feel good to know that someone misses you and someone now understands how important you are to them. But there are bridges that once you cross them, they fall apart right behind you. They crumble into a million pieces. And when you turn, there is no way back anymore. Emotionally, at least. This person has played a very dangerous game, thinking they could win over and over again, but not this time. You left and you won by deciding to not play anymore. Now, what you have ahead, Leo, <laughs> with this tower in your immediate future is a wave of major changes and overall transformation around you. In your immediate future, we have the Tower, Queen of Swords, and Queen of Wands as well. I can tell that this will be exciting, but it will also feel a little scary. That's why we have this Queen of Swords right here. Maybe it will feel uncomfortable at times, not because of what's happening around you, but because at a certain degree, it will feel out of control. The Tower is a major arcana, and we cannot control that. Plus, the unknown factor is always something that can scare the crap out of us. But this is something unavoidable at this moment. Why? I think that some of you are underestimating the action you took with this previous situation up here. I'm not sure that you realize this, but you've let go of something pretty major. You left, you've let go of a major chapter of your life something that consumed your focus, your attention, your energies. And now chances are that you are rebuilding that part of yourself, which was so focused on the love you've had for this person. Now that love needs to be redirected towards you, queen of wands and towards something new, which is definitely coming in with this tower energy. 
What we see here is two new beginnings, something that will make you travel, even if just short distance, something that will make you move somehow. And it's going to be imperative for you, Leo, to say yes to whatever this tower energy is bringing to you. And the reason why I say this is because there is a very important surprise, something you were not expecting anymore, something that will consume your energy once again, yes, but something that will give back to you, something that will give back to you tenfold. I can tell that something big is coming your way. When you see the tower and the Ace of Pentacles in the same reading, you know that something is cooking and it will be up to you to play along with the universe and play along with the flow of events without pushing it away because this is actually what all of this led up to. But if you perceive it as something scary, something that will turn out to be a loss at the end of the day, then you might actually miss out on something really beautiful here. Be and stay in touch with your intuition because what's happening around you now and your immediate future especially it's happening for a very specific reason. So this is what I have for you today, Leo, and for your current situation. Let's now focus on the future of the situation and let's see what this tower is bringing to you. For every door that closes, there is another one that opens. For every ending, there is always a new beginning. That's why we say death, rebirth. And this one, Leo, feels like the one feels like the one that might never end. But let's see what the cards have to say about it. Let's see what the cards have to say about this incoming energy and how it's going. It's all going to evolve in this year ahead for you. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, Leo, just follow me in the extended reading link below in the description box. Also, don't forget that every single week I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal 30 minute live reading. This week, actually the reading will be 45 minutes long because I'm offering also birth charts reading. So we will do both at the same time. I send out emails every Monday morning. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now stay tuned for the extended preview coming right up after this. Welcome back to your extended reading, Leo. The bridging energy taking us from this current situation to the upcoming events is the Knight of Cups. And, you know, as soon as I saw this card for you, I immediately heard you saying, here we go again. This is usually how it starts. I know this. I know how beautiful things might appear at first. And this incoming energy will definitely awaken your heart once again. It will really place you on a trajectory towards happiness and excitement and passion. There is someone showing up here, which perhaps, who perhaps is showing up in a very surprising way. And you know how beautiful things are at first, but then you also know how usually things end in this five of pentacles. And so right here, there is a possibility that you're going to push this away at first. But what you should know is that this new beginning comes in with pentacles. And whatever this person is going to show to you in the near future, it's not something that is temporary unless you push it away. Overall, we see that your heart is going to start feeling things and your life is going to change once again when this comes in. Let's see, though, the details of it and let's see how it's bound to evolve in the future as well. Let's start by clarifying this Knight of Cups. God. Wow. Look at this. Ace of Pentacles again, full circle. Listen, this is clearly something you do not want to miss out on. 
Ace of Pentacles again, the star, the Wheel of Fortune. This is clearly someone who at some point you hope to connect to, but who you thought would never come forward. Yet, here we are, and this is happening. What we're seeing right next to this Knight of Cups is...